interesting. Did you happen to send yourself to Jesus? Did you ask, seek, or knock to see if he would receive you? See, this is so funny. People always say, did you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior? The question should be, did you ask him to be your Lord and Savior? And did he receive you? I just don't get it. This is also so obvious to me that, that I was in a condition of lost and unsaved. And then I was in a condition of having been received. So found and saved were a given. Because the concept to me of lost was, I'll just never figure out my life. Well, I'm still there. <laughs> never figured out my life. I, that's, I, that just bypassed me. And unsaved, gosh, I have to be saved constantly. It's constantly. There, there's never a, a moment where I'm not tempted to go elsewhere um, with my intelligence. <laughs> you know, I, I always want to go to the dumb place. I always want to go to the, the destructive place. You know, I always want to set myself on fire. Every, everybody's like this in some way or another. So some of us end up you know, down the path that leads to watching Big Brother. <clears throat> of course, I'm so spiritual I don't watch The Bachelorette. I mean, I have not hit rock bottom in reality television, <laughs> but there are people here tonight that watch The Bachelorette. Pray for their souls. I want to hear that they've given up Bachelorette and they just watch Big Brother, then I'll know that that Jesus has received them. Seriously, what condition were you in? What condition are you in? Are you still asking, seeking, and knocking? Because those of us who've been received know that there's a bit of a give and take going on, that we're received by Christ, we're accepted by Christ, therefore we're free, we're found, and we're saved. But it's a lifetime of asking, seeking, and knocking. I did a lot of asking, seeking, and knocking at the vets last night, a lot, a lot, and it was fast and furious in my head. I know that I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. I know that he received me because I know that I pounded on that door. I know that I begged to get in. I know that I wanted in so bad that he had to take me. But I know from having been received by him, how much he loves me. But I learned how much he loves me by him loving others through me, by him showing me how much he loved other people through my own eyes, to show me how much I didn't love, and him saying, I really love that person. How about you, Faith? <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> well, then let's work here. Let's work here. I fear too many believers have no concept of being received by Christ because they don't ask, seek, or knock. They don't make any effort. Or they make a minimum effort. They don't make any aggressive effort. But Paul's saying we need to receive people that we perceive as being beneath us in, in scruples. the way Jesus received us. So we'll say it another way. Some really obnoxious person that we can't stand is calling us, pounding on our door, begging for our attention, and we're called to receive them the way Jesus has received us. Because we knocked on his door, we, we called, we texted, we begged him into his circle. Jesus is the one who did who who gave the parable about the judge in the middle of the night and the woman pounding on the door of the judge so he would he would help her, that he would give her the verdict she needed. And he finally out, whatever you want, I'll do, just leave me alone. Stop bugging me. And Jesus said, that's how you're supposed to be in your relationship with God, in that being that aggressive and pounding on his door, asking, seeking, and knocking. Asking, seeking. Has Jesus received you? Are you receiving others the way he received you? I 
I want to end tonight, eventually, by saying Jesus loves us very, very much. And he lowered every aspect of his, his self to reach us, to be near us. I've heard people tell stories about humans that became dogs to save the dog kingdoms, <laughs> you know, to give an idea of what it would be like for Jesus to become human. It would be like us becoming, um, not a cool dog, by the way, not like a Samoyed or an Akita, you know. I Personally, I think like the, the biggest punishment would be have to like go be a Chihuahua. You know, I want you to become a Chihuahua and preach the gospel. <laughs> well, they'll never listen to me. That's right. They'll kick you around and then they'll throw you on the Barbie. You know, or in, or in my case, feed you to the pit bull. <laughs> but Jesus lowered himself in a way God could really could to reach us, to show us how far God will go to reach us, to meet us, to love us, to bring us to Him, to save us. And all He asks is that we ask Him to receive us. All He asks is, is for us to ask Him to receive us. We ask people all the time, have you received Jesus? Have you received Jesus? Because he said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. He said that. So, in all fairness, receiving works both ways. But I think that every once in a while we need to be reminded that He came first. He came for us first. He came for us first, begging us, begging us to have relationship with Him. And we've turned into a people that guard the gates of heaven from all the people we don't like, whether they be of the wrong color, or the wrong orientation, or the wrong, uh, the wrong political party, or just people we just don't like. But he received us as we were, in whatever condition we were in, without question, without judgment, and he calls us to receive others. But I think unless a person has received him and understands that he's received them, it, it has no chance of ever effectively ministering on his behalf. I think people that go around and, and preach the gospel and, and stand up for Jesus and say how it's going to be in this world, oftentimes are people that are mean mean and empty and I think heartless and I think they're heartless because they've just never had their hearts ignited with the understanding of being received in your worst state but because we heard this tonight we all know better right we all know better and the people in TV land who see this know better and I fix my small portion of the world <laughs> I can go to bed at night and know that at least this many people know better. So I was everyone to bow your head, you can turn that off. This is private. I everybody to bow your head. We're going to pray for